uh, Anji, uh, this is Varuna. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for uh, letting us ask some questions from you. And uh, my first question would be, uh, why are you getting out on 90s so many times? Varuna, it's quite, it's quite hard, heartbreaking. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know what's going on when I when I get to the 90s, but I try my best to um, you know not. Uh, Think about it too much, but unfortunately, I've been getting out in the 90s. But I uh, hope I can get through those 90s and get a hundred in the future. Yeah, yeah, cool. And uh, should I ask another one? Another question? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what would be the condition of uh, Sachitra's, uh, you know, availability for the World Cup? Upcoming World Cup, would, would he be able to uh, available for the World Cup, or do we have any replacements uh, if he doesn't make it? Um, I'm pretty, ho I'm very hopeful that uh, you know he'll play in the the England ODI series. He's doing his remedial work with the coaches, and he's worked extremely hard in the past um, a couple of months. And he's almost there. We just need a bit more time, and and I'm sure he'll get going. Yeah, happy to hear that. Hi, Sachin, this is Azim. Sorry. Azim, Sachin. Sir, sorry, Angelo. Hi, Azim. Yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah, my question is, uh, what Sri Lankan cricket match played before your debut that would uh, you have felt? I wish I played this game. Oh, definitely um, the, uh, the 2007 World Cup Finals. If you're asking, uh, you know, before I, well, before I play for the national team, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, 2000, 2007 World Cup Finals. I, um, you know, I would like, well, I would love to say, you know, 1996 World Cup, but I was just a kid then, yeah. and I was watching the the match when the kids played and. You know, lifted the World Cup, but I think um, you know, 2007 World Cup was was also um, a very good game. I watched it, and and I just um, well, I well, I got into the the national team um, well in the following years. So, uh, um, yeah, that was a game. And why, 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 why is that so much important? Huh. Because um, in the World Cup, you know, we lost the World game. Cup. Uh, it is, yeah. And and also a final. Uh, it's a World Cup final. It's you know World Cup final is always um, a very precious moment for for all of us, I think the players and also the fans. So I would I would have definitely loved to you know be a part of that game. And if you were, would you have changed anything in the game? Uh, you can't really say. I mean, we we played the best eleven uh, okay. in that in that time, and and I think you know. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. I can't really say. Angelo, this is Lotion again. Yes, Lotion. Yes. Uh, does it give extra pressure to lead a team with uh, a lot of uh, former captains like Sangha, Mahela, sometimes Dilshan? Is extra pressure on you? No, I think it's easy. Well, I think it's it's pretty easy because um, you know they they know the game. They've been there. They've captained. They've played the game for such a long time. They are very well experienced, seasoned campaigners, and and they, and they always help me with all my you know decision making. So it's always good to have those those players in the team. They give a lot of oh. support and encouragement. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, hi, hi guys. Uh, just just a reminder, actually, uh, it's better to avoid the photographs, a screenshot or something. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. 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 Yeah, this is Rizwan, one of your biggest fans. Hi, Rizwan. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you how is uh, how it feels to be the captain of the ship. I mean, captain of Sri Lanka team. Yeah, it feels great to lead a uh, you know team to lead the national team with so many greats. I mean, you know, namely. Um, um, T M Belshan, Kumar Sangakkara, Lasit Malinga, you know, Mahala Javadan, Rangana Herats, Purasekaras, to to lead to lead uh, the team is um, you know I'm really uh, happy to, to leave 
lead a team like that with so many greats and I'm I'm very um, uh, you know thankful to to all the players um, you know who's supporting me quite a lot and I have a big request from you yes yeah can you trash uh, India out I mean when the tour starts on November 1st <laughs> can you make it five minutes trash can you win it <laughs> we'll try our best we'll try our best yeah <laughs> thank you Lauren. and uh, hi Angie this is Varun again uh, this is uh, this question too is about Indian tour. So uh, obviously Sangha is not uh, I don't know uh, happy about the uh, according to his words abruptly scheduled the Indian tour. So how uh, would you uh, see this uh, tour as an opportunity or or, or a burden for you uh, looking uh, into the World Cup? Well, I think um, yeah, this was. Um all of a sudden too and I think um, you know we've we've been training for the for the you know coming well English tour and and we we, we concentrated on our fitness quite a lot and, and we didn't do any skill work um, uh, you know we're starting our skill work tomorrow so I think uh, we will be a bit you know underprepared but it's not an excuse I think you know you know we've got to grab these opportunities try and you know get the, the combinations right for the World Cup Cool. Hey, MJ, I'm Adil here. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Adil. Uh, I just wanted to ask a question about the you know, England plays the Ashes with Australia, right? So, likewise, if Sri Lanka played something like Ashes, uh, against whom would Sri Lanka play and why is that? Whom do you prefer? Well, I think uh, out of the 10. You know, test playing nations. I think um, uh, about seven or eight of them are quite even. So um, it doesn't really matter as long as we play you know, competitive cricket. Um, they all are you know quite even, and they play it really hard, whether it's you know at home or away. So I think uh, it doesn't really matter. But but I think you know it's always good to have a you know five match, but test series we haven't played. Um, I don't think we have played. A five-match test series, but I think it's good to have, you know, a lot of test matches played in, in uh, you know, in the future. Yeah, hopefully. Those in here. Um, uh, as a fan of yours, I'm very curious about your favorite batting position, your favorite uh, fielding position, as well as your favorite stroke. Uh, favorite batting position I've I've played. I mean, almost all my life in in the middle order. I think um, you know number well up to from I've batted number three, four, five, six, and in the national team, I think I've batted um, five, six, and seven most probably. So um, it is a very responsible position, and and I'm I'm enjoying it so far. So I think um, you know those positions are, are ideal for me, and. Uh, my favorite fielding position, um, well, as the captain, I, I need to stay in the inner ring uh, more often than not. So I'll, I'll probably pick up the, the short extra position. Mm -hmm. so I can, um, you know, have a good view of the batsman and also, you know, talk to the bowlers. Right. Uh, and sorry, what was the other question again? Uh, your favorite uh, batting stroke, too. I like to play the pull shot quite a lot. Yeah. The pull shot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so uh, one again. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, let's say you are in a crucial situation in the game. It's a win or lose moment. So, whose advice you prefer to take? You to go for Sangha or Mahela? <laughs> 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 no, that is a tricky question. Um, no, I'll probably you know come there. Well, not only Mahela and Sangha. There are quite a few uh, few other seniors also. You know, put in their thoughts. Well, ultimately, it's my decision to take. But, but I think um, um, we take a decision more often than not. I think my is all uh, the decision, and I, and I make the final decision. Nanji, Aziz, me again. Uh, adding up to the question, uh, whom do you want to bet for your life, Sangha or Mahel? Whom do I want to bet for your life? Bet for my life, both of them. <laughs> we are given the opportunity for one, two. 
Can't really pick one, to be honest. Uh, I'm sure if I if I ask you that question, you'll be in a, in a spot of bother as well, because uh, well, both are quite different to each other. But I think um, uh, Sangha and Mahila, Mahila is probably one of the best batsmen I've ever seen, and and Sangha is one of the, uh, is, or if not the most consistent, uh, you know, batsman I've ever seen. Sure. So they are quite different to each other. And, um, uh, you can't really pick one, uh, to be honest. Uh, so, Anji, uh, this is Varun again, uh, and uh, this is with regard to the upcoming World Cup. So, uh, we have uh, these uh, uh, two players, young talents, and uh, from from fans' perspective, uh, actually there are two uh, camps uh, divided these days. Uh, some taking Chandimal's uh, uh, side and the others uh, getting Tirimanes. So, uh, how would you uh, like to allocate uh, both Chandimal or Tiriman going into the World Cup? Or, so, what is your view on their betting positions in the uh, in the uh, looking at the World Cup? Uh, look, I mean, there's a lot of competition in within the team, and I think you can't really. Um, you know, uh, say that these guys are uh, going on the World Cup for sure. I mean, no one's um, really sure for the World Cup spot. I think um, you know, all, all we've got about 30 uh, in the squad, and I think all are, uh, you know, all can fit into the team. So I think uh, whoever who's, uh, you know, hitting form uh, when the World Cup comes, I think uh, that person will go on the tour. But uh, you know, both might go, both might not go. Both. I mean, whoever. Uh, uh, whoever it is, I mean, they've got to perform and you know try and um, be consistent. And and having said that, uh, Tiriman is our vice captain uh, at the moment. So uh, even uh, that uh, wouldn't account him uh, plays in the uh, final eleven. Uh, are you saying that? Or... Um, look, I mean, you know, even the captain can be dropped according to my theory. So if I uh, we don't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not in good form, then then, then I need to uh, you know step back and you know give the others the opportunity. Uh, well, well, I think uh, no one's guaranteed in the team, and I think all eleven has to perform. All eleven has to keep the uh, you know consistency uh, going, and I think uh, you know that's the main thing. I think uh, no one is really sure uh, of the playing eleven. Thanks. And also uh, another question from me: If uh, you had the chance to change a cricket rule, uh, what would that be? If you wanted to change a rule in cricket? Uh, yeah, I would say the umpire's call. Um, just for an example, if it's an LBW and 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 if it if it's pitching in line and hitting the stumps, I think it should be out. Uh, rather than taking the umpire's call, this 50% thing, I actually don't believe. So, so I think, you know, either it has to be out or not out. So, I, I think uh, the umpire's call should be taken out. Okay. This uh, is Ritan here. Hello. Can you hear me, Anji? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is regarding the World Cup. So, do you think uh, our team is fit and ready for the World Cup to play in a condition like Australia, which is more a bouncy track? Because we have been playing cricket in uh, Asian, uh, um, I mean, grounds, which is just more slow and dry. So, is our team to uh, is our team is fit and ready to go and play in a condition like Australia? Uh, not as yet. Which is the most suitable. Yeah, a few more. Uh, yeah, we are working for that, and I think we've got a few more months, and and we are slowly, you know, preparing ourselves. We can't really, um, you know, prepare ourselves. We need to, uh, you know, try and hit the peak time at the correct uh, time. And I think, um, uh, you know, once we reach, we have a we have a really good tour in New Zealand. So we go there, we we get used to the conditions. We play a couple of test matches and seven one days. So which is going to help us uh, so much. So I think you know, getting used to the conditions, we've got to try and adapt ourselves as quickly as possible to those conditions. 
you know, so that we can, you know, give ourselves a chance. Mm. Anjay, uh, this is Lojan again. We played amazingly well in uh, England in foreign conditions. What is, what is your take in uh, playing to our strength in foreign conditions? What is my, sorry? Your take on playing to our strength in foreign conditions? Yeah, I think we've always played for our strengths, uh, you know, no matter where we play, whether it's Sri Lanka or overseas, whether it's England, Australia, New Zealand, you name it. Uh, I think we've we've played. We don't have, you know, express bowlers in in bowling, you know, 150 pluses, and we don't have um, guys uh, who are turning like Murali. Mm. So I think we've collectively, you know, played our natural games, and and it has worked for us. I think, you know, uh, more often than not, if you if you back yourself. If you play a natural game, uh, you end up in the you know successful and and winning team. Hi, uh, Anji again, Azim, it's Azim again. Yes, Azim. Uh, a hundred to set a good target or a quick fire forty plus to win a game. Or do you prefer in your last game? A hundred to set a good target or a forty plus to win a game. Oh, definitely uh, a quick fire forward to win a game. I mean, you know, after all, winning is our main objective, and I think, you know, we need to play to win. And I think, regardless of uh, you getting a hundred or not, I think, regardless of your personal milestones, you need to play to win. And it and that that it's ten runs game. can count, uh, you know, at the end. But it's your last game. It's just a minute. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter as long as we win the game. But statistics should uh, we say that uh, he scored a hundred on a hundred on a last inning, but it would be great. Well, there's no point uh, in saying that if we don't, um, you know, win the game. No. So, so I would be happy if we um, um, so score a quick forty and win the game. But if I get a hundred and win the game, then I'll probably take that. that would be the ideal one. <laughs> right. So you, that means you like to be the finisher in the cricket, the team, national team. Yeah, yeah, I'm given the role of a finisher, so I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to, you know, justify that. Okay. I also uh, another question from me, but like back. When you are in your dressing room, what do you like usually do in your huddle talks? What do you what do you say to your teammates to motivate them to motivate yourself? Yeah, I think you know so many you know so many things inside the dressing room. Um, we we back each other. We always say that you know we can do this, we can do this. You know, if we if we get a good score on the board, we we talk to the bowler saying that. You know, you need you need to give your best, and and also the fielders, you need to give your best. And if we if we bowl first and bat second, we we just you know have a quiet word to the batter saying that we need to do it. So I think you know it uh, it goes both ways, and I think um, you know well after all we we back ourselves, we are confident in 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 all playing eleven, so that you know anyone can turn up and win the game. Angie uh, Varun again. Uh, so this is more of a non-cricket uh, question. Uh, uh, what is the craziest uh, fan encounter you ever had uh, as, as a cricketer? <laughs> I think I'm yet. Don't, don't think I'm yet to face it. Well, I think I'm I'm yet to face it. Um, <laughs> uh, the fans have been pretty good, so so hopefully they'll say the same. So we, we 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 just want to catch you on uh, hangouts, uh, so you don't have to be worried. <laughs> okay. Um. Hi, Anji again, uh, Azim. Yeah, Who's the Azeem. funniest guy in the dressing room? Who's the funniest guy in the dressing room? Definitely Mendes. <laughs> Ajahn the Mendes. And why is it? Uh, He's just a crazy guy. He's the most funniest I've ever, you know, come across. Okay. He's very light-hearted. He wants to, you know, joke around all the time. He, he takes, uh, you know, things very uh, lightly. And you know, they, it's always have, you know, it's always good to have a guy like that in the dressing room. A serious guy. Sorry. Serious guy. Serious, most serious guy. Serious guy. 
Let me think. Uh, dami ka prasad? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks guys for for talking with me today. Let's let's try and catch up later on. Thank yeah, you. yeah, well, thanks, Lanji. Thanks, Captain. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you.